Hi, Tim with After Later Audio. Today we're going to be looking at the Coco system while using the Valley as the centerpiece module. If this is your first video you've watched about Coco, then you might want to go back and watch the uh, the first Coco video where I focused on Canyon as the centerpiece. But just really quickly, Coco stands for Create Your Own Complex Oscillator. So they're standalone modules, Cascades, the primary oscillator. Brooks, the secondary and tertiary oscillator, and then there is Valley and Canyon, which are the two separate centerpiece modules. You can choose one or the other. And then of course, all of these modules are standalone. The way that Valley hooks up and creates uh, a system out of these Cascades and Brooks is via uh, ribbon cables on the back. So you actually only need one power cable if you are using a Coco system. Um, and then oscillators one, two, and three connect through ribbon cables. So these are all connected in the back. Um, and again, just one power cable. And then one more time, reminder that they are all standalone modules. So what these centerpieces are, they basically either create um, higher or lower harmonics based off of the oscillators within the system. So the Canyon is our subharmonic generator, and it can also be used as a stepped voltage generator. And then the Valley is our Buchla style wave folder. Um, so it combines two different oscillators, folds their waves, we get even and odd harmonics out of it. We get some fundamental um, passing through, some cool CV options, and then um, some track and sync options as well. But why don't we just look at each one of these features independently and uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's walk into the valley. Okay, so as I mentioned, the Valley Centerpiece module is a Buchla style wave folder, but what waves are being folded by Valley? Well, it depends on a few things, but generally, it's the sine wave from oscillator one or cascades and the sine wave out from uh, oscillator two, which is our first Brooks. Um, but one notable feature about cascades is on the back, there is a jumper so you can decide whether you want the sine um, to be sent out or the morph to be sent out of the mod bus to its normalized connections. In this configuration, I do have the morph only because I think it sounds a lot cooler. So let's just bring this, what you're hearing right now, is the fundamental from the cascades so we're not folding anything right now we're just passing the fundamental through and then if i go over here with my crossfader um, now i've got the fundamental of oscillator two um, and then a blend of them so let's just go back here and now if i bring this crossfader up to folded now um, we're getting our folder our folded signal and then the order dictates uh, the amount of folds in the wave. And the odd and even crossfader is for the odd and even harmonics. So this is just the odd um, from oscillator one. And we can go over to even and then we can blend them. So all sorts of fun blending of things. But where it really, really gets fun is the normalized connection here into the order. This is coming from oscillator three's sine wave. So as I turn this uh, attenuator up, it's letting more of this signal in. pretty fun and as you can see we have all sorts of uh, other inputs um, one quick note is you can actually just pass the fundamental out and then the uh, the actual folder won't have any uh, effect over it so you can do some crossfading here um, and you can keep this this fundamental just kind of going straight forward uh, let's talk about some of these uh, inputs for modulation, you can control the uh, the odd and even crossfader via a CV input with an attenuator. You can uh, control the the blending of oscillators one and two um, via external voltage control, and then also the fun and fold crossfader can be controlled via external CV. So why don't we just patch something up really quick and uh, 
see how cool this thing can be. So here are the control sections of the uh, the centerpiece module. Um, we have track and sync, and basically, what we can do here is uh, we can have oscillator two, track, and oscillator one. Or we can sync it. Or we can actually have uh, both oscillators two and three um, track or sync. But the fun doesn't stop there uh, because all of the oscillators go into LFO mode, so we can actually fold control voltage here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the uh, the waves that we were just listening to, but we're actually going to listen to the cascades. I'm going to use uh, so this cascades is part of a different Coco system, so it's independent of this. Uh, so I'm going to use the pulse output and the morph output, and I'm going to modulate the um, both of them with the output from Valley, and then I'm going to control um, all these crossfaders and the order of the folds with um, Cascades and the Brooks from this Coco system, which is confusing, but as you watch me move the knobs around, it will make sense. I also want to mention that the uh, the sequence is coming from this canyon and being quantized and going into this Cascades. Uh, so the subharmonic generator can also do step sequences if the voltages are low enough. So that's where the sequence is coming from. So once again, the uh, oscillator three is normaled into the, uh, the order or the number of folds. And then once you start doing some cross modulation of everything, it's gonna get real, real weird. Oh, my God.